Welcome to the new Zambil portal. Whether you're a long-time reseller or just getting started, please watch this video carefully. It will guide you on how to get started with Zambil portal. Let's get started. First, visit our new portal link, portal.mezambil.com. If you're visiting the portal for the first time, you'll need to sign up. We recommend signing up with Google so you don't have to remember any passwords and can easily sign in every time. After signing up, fill in your basic details. Once done, click back to dashboard. Welcome to your Zambil dashboard. To get started, it's time to connect your store to your Zambil portal. In order to connect store first, we need to add bank details. Go to Bank Account tab. Then click on Add Payment Method. Note, you can add multiple payment methods, including a bank account, PayPal, and even USDT. And you can add multiple bank accounts for multiple stores. Select Payment Type. From the drop-down, choose Bank Account. Account Title. Enter the account holder's exact name. For example, Muhammad Ali Khan. Account Nickname. Add a reference name. For example, HBL Lahore Branch. Bank Account Country. Select your bank's country. For example, Pakistan Bank Name. Enter the official bank name. For example, Habib Bank Limited. Once you are done with adding a payment method, make sure it's set to your primary payment method. We recommend using Binance for faster transactions, low deductions, and no minimum payout. Go to Store's integration page and choose the platform you want to integrate with. For example, if you're using Shopify, click on Connect Store. When you click on Connect Store for Shopify, you'll be taken to Zambil's page on the Shopify App Store. If you've already installed the app, you'll see a button labeled Open. If you haven't installed the Zambil app yet, you'll see an Install button instead. Open or install the Zambil app on your Shopify store. When you open the Zambil Shopify app, you'll see a button that says Connect with Zambil. Click this button to link your store with the new Zambil portal. After that, you'll be taken back to the portal where you'll need to set up a nickname for your store. Having a store nickname is important because it helps you easily identify and manage multiple stores on the Zambil platform. If you see your store here, it means your store is successfully integrated and connected. In the same manner, you can add multiple stores. Here you will see attached bank account with store. You can edit store bank account for each store. Go to Action View Edit in order to change store bank account. This pop-up will open once you click on View, Edit, click on drop-down, and select bank account which you want to link for that particular store. Once done, click on Save Changes. Click the Send Order to Zambil drop-down to choose Manual or Auto. Manual. Send orders manually from the Orders tab. Auto. Orders transfer automatically. Only orders with missing SKUs will remain in the Orders tab. Let's see how we can process orders. Click on Orders on the left side navigation bar. Select Store, for which you want to see order details. All stores linked with your email will appear in the drop down. Orders dashboard is split into two parts. One, your store. Orders shows orders if auto processing is turned off or there's an issue. If order has missing SKU, phone number. These orders won't move to Zambil automatically. Fix the issue, if any, and select orders to send manually to Zambil. To turn on or off auto processing, we will go to Store Integrations. Under Send Orders to Zambil is a drop down. If you select Auto, orders will auto transfer to Zambil. If order has a missing or wrong SKU or missing country, then only the order will get stuck. If you select Manual, all orders will stay in the Orders tab. You'll need to manually process them to Zambil. Missing Order Details If order has a missing or wrong SKU or missing country, then only the order will get stuck. Fix the details and send manually. Let's fix them now. Open order by clicking on Store Reference ID. This pop-up will open where you will add all details missing. 
You can edit all order details here before sending to Zambiel. Once order has been sent to Zambiel, you cannot edit details. In that case, you will need to reach out to your account manager. Missing SKU? Add the product SKU from www.myzambiel.com. Make sure to enter the correct SKU for the product you're selling. Copy the SKU code from Zambiel website. Make sure you copy SKU code of country of order. Select country of order and then copy SKU code. How to add SKU. Enter the SKU and click the search button. In the pop-up, select the correct SKU. Then click Add SKU to save it. After adding SKU, the SKU will appear below. You can edit quantity and price as needed. After editing, click the Save button on the right to apply changes. After adding all details and updating price, click the Save button. A pop-up will appear. Select Yes since you've changed the price. Select orders to send to Zambiel. You can select all orders using the top checkbox or choose individually. Orders with missing details won't be sent. Make sure all required info is added before sending. You can also delete the orders which you don't want to send to Zambiel. Note, once orders deleted, it won't be recovered. You will need to add them manually. Next, click on Send to Zambiel. Order Summary After sending to Zambiel, one order was successfully sent to Zambiel. One order failed due to missing details. You can now view and fix the failed order, then resend it to Zambiel for processing. Scroll to the second section, Orders with Zambiel. Here you can track order progress. Check the status column to see each order's processing stage. Status shows the current stage of each order. For a more detailed view, we will go to the Orders Analytics tab. In the Orders with Zambiel section, open any order ID to view its processing logs. This pop-up will open, allowing you to view the order timeline, overview, and status. Once that's done, click on Orders Analytics. Orders Analytics is divided into three parts. Filters, Section, Select Store, Time Period, Country, or Product. Use these filters to view specific data based on your needs. Pre-dispatch section shows orders still in process before shipping. Dispatch section shows orders that have been shipped. Hovering over any status shows its meaning. Clicking on it opens a pop-up with more details. Clicking on any tab will show you the detailed list of orders under that specific status. Clicking the eye icon opens a pop-up showing the exact orders under that status. This is the view you'll see. It displays the order details under the selected status. It shows the status and substatus of each order, such as send message, call one done, or message sent, giving a more detailed breakdown of the order's progress. Thanks for watching. For any questions, contact Zambiel Support.